That's a little cotton mouth right there. See? You're on the side of the road. Watch your mouth move toward him. He'll just go right all back off in the water there. Pretty cool, huh? I was hoping he was going to stay right here. I can feel him. See this old uh, swamp right here. Matter of fact, the beavers had this so dammed up, this road was been underwater right here. But he's out going to cross that road there as I was coming in. This is after the rain yesterday afternoon that we got. And you see how high it is this morning. Here, it's just just a layer of slime on the ground is what it is so what you have to do to start off you can't hardly walk on this stuff it's so slick you have to push this stuff off that's what Kevin's doing right now he's slicing just a little bit of it off so that we can get the trucks in here I was able to stay in the road. I'm not sure. It was strange. It was the rollers there. We got one of the rollers that's squeaking pretty bad on that dozer right now. I'm trying to see if one of them is, uh, looks funny or not. Derek's gonna come down the hill, man, at 650 up there. And if it does this every afternoon, this is what you have to do every morning before you before you do. And see, once he cuts it a little bit, it's dry. The dirt's dry. Dad's on the way right now. He may already be on the grader up there now, grading, I don't know. But Dad's on his way to do that for us this morning. We uh, packed a cylinder on the uh, 635 yesterday and the ride was not bent. On it. We'll watch these bottom rollers here. There's one of them on that bottom there, on this side, I believe. One is. It may just be the rail rubbing on it because those rails are about wore out on that thing. Also what happens too when you run on this and he cleats it with the with the cleats. Kind of rust kind of rolls some of the dirt around and cleats it with the cleats. It opens that ground up and lets that moisture start coming out of it. And it helps it dry up basically is what it does. Anytime you 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 lose you lose time on days like today. At least you're not sitting at the house, uh, but you do lose some time. You'll lose a few loads. Like I said, it beats not making the entire day though. Something else to think about too. If it's this wet up here right now on the road, no. Think about how wet it is out there in the woods. Uh, the skidding will be slower, the cutting will be slower, and uh, it just, you know, it's kind of a chain reaction. And you just can't, you can't do as much on a day like today as you would on a dry day. So, I've been to park my truck and get everything else fired up and it could do the exact same thing again this afternoon too that it did yesterday and it's just summertime in the south man it's just how it works you, you have these real humid days mornings you get the moisture in the ground and the sun comes out and it starts cooking the ground all the moisture comes back out of the ground back in the in the air and the atmosphere 
and it just is so humid it starts building again building and then all of a sudden bam you start having these thunderstorms popping up all over the place they may get you they may not you know it's just you know, one of those things so all right it's almost 8 30. i just loaded the first truck he's loaded with a load of chip and saw going to millport dad's on the 772 ch right there fixing to pull this truck up the hill we have a short cable we hook between the two of them there it's got an eye on each end of it, a braided eye watch this smoke come out of this out of this 8.1 liter engine right here when dad gets on it man curve and as soon as they go around that curve when you lose sight of the back of that trailer they got to get up a big hill there I'll cut the radio up so y'all can hear them talking alright they're finna start up the hill now still see the back of the trailer. They're still moving going on up it. We'll get right here fast. God, I'm going to drop this. Damn, boy. All right, you got him up. Oh, y'all want to see my how I mount my GoPro here? All right. Let's see. Let me back her out. Okay. There it is right there. I'm sitting in my seat right here. A lot of y'all have asked about my radio, where it's mounted at. It's mounted right here over my shoulder. Uh, Zach, you were asking about that the other day. It's just drilled into this, uh, the mount is drilled into this uh, post right here. Mounted right there, and I just lay the mic in my lap right here. This is my favorite GoPro spot, right here over my shoulder. Uh, I know Let's Dig, he don't, he don't put his on his door. In which I put mine back here on this window right here before too. I don't like it quite as much because it's so far back. But when I put it right here, you get a you get a good uh, bird's eye view. I don't know if I got that drag up there far enough to get a range of the Bird's eye view. You can you can see everything in front of me, and you can also see a little bit of me with the GoPro on super wide, and uh, that's that's how that's where I shoot a lot. And I use a, uh, you can see this is a this is a ram mount, a suction mount right here. And it's got a double uh, swivel on it right there. And uh, the GoPro's in a skeleton case where to pick up the audio and all that. So that's, that's how I shoot a lot of it. I got another truck right here. Scott turning around now. It's gonna get really busy now, man. And again today, I think Trandy has uh, done sent voodoo stuff over here from Louisiana on us. Dad's on the grader there. We already got hit by rain a while ago. We got we went ahead and got both service trucks out. We got them on top of the hill. And then uh, back here behind me, I wish I could show y'all this cluster with these trucks back here i got one truck it's basically sitting in the road you can't see it because it's raining so hard i'm not sure uh i'm not sure what he was thinking but anyhow yeah that happened i told somebody somebody asked me how how the trucks get on top of one another like that well don't ask you man every year we have two trucks hit each other Every year. Last year, we had two trucks hit each other in the middle of a 10, about a 10 acre field. Well, that's what happens. Trucks are like magnets. 
and they like to stay close to one another. We've got we've got more than three miles of road coming in and out of here, and it's gravel all the way till you get to this last half mile or so. And there's some spots that don't have no gravel on it, but there's all kinds of roads that can peel off. That can you know that you could set on and everything. See, like right now, if we were gonna get rained out for a couple days. We can't even get those trucks to get them back to the shop right now the way that they're sitting back there. And where they could park in these other roads, and if we said, hey, we're going to the shop, they just back out and drive off. But they are just crammed up in there like that, which we know right now that it's going to rain every day like this. So don't, you know, it's like that one sitting in the road back here right now. It's all you can do to get around him. You know, but just, it's never a dull moment. Never a dull moment.